if we walk too soon, if we wait there um, too quickly and too soon, it can affect, well, whatever we do, it will affect the shape of the acetabulum. And developmentally, when we're born, we have the ability to lift our head. The next thing, in theory, we get up with is pushing with our arms. So the legs develop later and slower. And the whole process of crawling and then kneel standing and half kneel standing and learning how to stand, that learning process, part of what it's doing is developing and actually shaping the acetabulum. So to go back to the, con we were, to the conversation we were having in the last class about diapers, um, that experience of wearing really bulky diapers will have an effect on the shape of our acetabulum later then, potentially. Whatever position we're in all the time, that our legs are in all the time, if we don't get to do a lot of different movements, it will, everything's affected, but in the legs, one of the things that's affected is the shape of the acetabulum. Which is also why um, they say, and it is, it does happen, that if you're doing something where you need more range of motion in your hip joints, something like being a dancer or a gymnast, starting early will actually shape your pelvis. So if you start really early, not that it's, <laughs> that you should do this, but it is true that the shape of the acetabulum is somewhat affected by what you do as a child. So if you started, um, doing things, my experience was with ballet, that if, if you start doing that early, it can affect the shape of the acetabulum to some degree. Now, if your pelvis, if your acetabulum are facing more forward than side, there's only so much difference you can make. And you might never have the same amount of external rotation that someone has with a different shaped pelvis and an acetabulum that's more oriented to the side. But it will change more, or what you do as a child will have more effect on the shape of your acetabulum than what you do, say, when you're in your 20s.